Mike, amazing fight. Uh, the decision uh, a lot of people are, are disagreeing with. Um, can you speak to that? Yeah, I'm not a judge, but uh, I'm a fighter. And I went out there and fought my heart out and did what I do best. Uh, again, I'm not a judge, that's for them, but uh, I feel in my heart that I won. And uh, from what I hear from the crowd, everybody told me that I won. I'm disappointed that I didn't finish him and make it clear. Uh, my coach, Saul Solis, always told me to never let it go to the judges' hands because things like this might happen. And uh, I learned this is the first fight that I've ever had that's gone to the decision. And I've stopped everybody previously beforehand. But uh, I'm very disappointed in myself for not finishing him and leaving it into the judges' hands. I feel pretty bad about that. If you don't mind, let's start from uh, from yesterday and just uh, walk through uh, to, to what has just happened. Uh, yesterday, we didn't get to see you weigh in. Uh, you, you were late to the weigh-ins because uh, 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 we had heard you were cutting. Uh, what was what happened? Did you weigh in uh, in weight or what happened? I cut in a lot. Uh, I cut a lot of weight, about 20 pounds, and that was a lot for me. Um, I took this, this fight short notice. Just two weeks ago, I found out about it. So I only had two weeks trained for this fight. And, uh, you know, I did the best I could. Um, I, I came in, made weight, I was late. Uh, I was a pound over, but, uh, you know, like I said, I did my best, took a short notice, and uh, I gave it all I had, man. Sorry for being disrespectful, showing up late, and uh, not weighing in on time. It was very unprofessional of me, and I'll do my best. I can make that happen, you know. But you did make weight? I weighed in at 171, which which means I was a pound over, and uh, this wasn't for a title. The title was off. Okay, got it. Uh, so that was why it was a three round instead of a five round fight. That's correct. Uh, do you think that if it had gone five rounds, uh, uh, then you know perhaps uh, there would have been more for the judges to look at, even more to consider? You know, if it went to a decision, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I highly doubt it. Going by what happened, I mean, he's a col he's an all American wrestler, world class wrestler. It's all I've heard. And you know, every time you took me down, I got right back up. I took him down. He couldn't get up till the judge, you know, took me off him, and I was constantly hitting him. Um, so, Mike, you seemed to be, be pretty emotional in the ring. It was a it, while you were fighting. Uh, when he landed the uh, the knee to your face in the first round, uh, up until that point, he seemed like uh, he was he was getting the better of the punches. He was landing more, and uh, and you were covering. And he landed the, he landed the knee to your your face. The point was taken away. And at that point, it seemed like you were a different fighter. Is that is that what your feeling was inside? Yeah, he pissed me off. You know, that was dirty, and he knew I was a down opponent. Uh, I have nothing but respect for Kamal, but uh, you know when someone's down. I know we're in the heat of the moment and we're fighting, and sometimes things get out of hand. You don't think it's just reaction, but uh, you know he's been fighting long enough to know that you ain't supposed to need a opponent down the middle. And that's kind of when I got pissed off and just hit the hell of this shit and just came out hard, as hard as I could. You and you landed that left the first time you landed that left high kick across his head. Did you think he was going to go down and stay down? No, I caught him on the instep of my foot. It was like a slap. You know, most guys would have uh, crumbled to the ground, but come off a tough cat. You know, the Persians and the Greeks uh, have been going at it for some in the past. You know, our bloodlines just are tough. This is what we're supposed to do. The uh, uh, later the, on in the second round, uh, you know, he was he seemed to be sort of uh, uh, using his wrestling ability to kind of stall things out. But you were able to get up pretty easily. Uh, uh, he seemed to be uh, more interested in trying to get another one of those punches that would knock you down like you had in the first round, and it just wasn't happening. Yeah. Uh, were you afraid of those punches after the Not first at round? All. I wasn't afraid of nothing. And the. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, wrestling, it, you seem to have some of your own. In the third round, I think you had a double leg takedown of your own. Uh, it, your, your wrestling credentials are, are pretty high, but uh, uh, as well, uh, were, were you surprised or, or did you uh, uh, plan on using more of your wrestling or, or uh, did that just be the heat of the moment that when you pulled that off? Yeah, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do uh, into the fight. I knew that I, he was a, a world-class wrestler. And I'm a really good striker, and uh, for some reason I wanted to prove to myself that I could take him down, a world-class wrestler. Because I'm Greek and this is in my blood, 
and I should be the best of what, fighting, whatever it is, wrestling, Greco-Roman, stand-up, and uh, I just wanted to prove to myself I could do it. You, I did. Your previous fights, uh, when we watched, uh, you know, the fights, uh, you're, you know, you, it always seemed like when you punch, people didn't like it. That was the way I put it uh, to people before this fight happened. You, you, your punches were really hard. Tonight they were effective, but even more effective were your knees and your kicks. Uh, have you used them in the past uh, this effectively? Uh, uh, how did you feel about it? Was it something you were you've been working on? Uh, yeah, I work on I work on it all. A lot of stand up, a lot of knees. I knew he's a wrestler, so I was figuring I was going to use a lot of knees. Uh, I'm sure he's not used to a tie clinch, you know, and uh, you know just whatever he gave me, I was going to try to use on. When uh, he got that uh, uh, right punch that uh, did knock you down in the first round, it looked like a, a possible flash knockout that you recovered from pretty quickly. Uh, did, were you awake for the whole thing, or, or did you go down? I was awake. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, now what do you want to do as far as to, to do you want to rematch with Kamal? Uh, uh, you want to just kind of move on from this? Uh, what is it that uh, is going through your mind now? No, of course I want to prove myself. I already proved I can beat him, uh, but I need to make it more clear. You want to try it again at, uh, and make it a, a five round to the yeah. next time? He won't make it to the third round. Yeah. Uh, your cardio seemed to be really good, especially uh, after such a first, uh, tough first round. Yeah, I can take a beating and uh, I just get stronger. The more I get hurt, the stronger I get. The longer it goes, the better chance I've got. Uh, I mean, I'm a great warrior. I'm the last one left. Michael, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. You want to thank any sponsors or uh, the team or anything like yeah, that? I want to thank my team. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Jesus Christ. He made it all possible. I want to thank my coach, Sal Solis. I want to thank my team, Lee King, Brian Melanson, Tim Schneider, Jeff Rex Road, uh, uh, my brother Jason, um, all my sponsors, Apex Firestop, uh, Emotions Nightclub, Electric Company in Houston, got a lot of sponsors, brother. Uh, just want to thank everybody in Houston. Thank you for all my support, all the fight clubs out there, and all my fans. Um, I'll do better next time. How long uh, before you call up uh, Ron at King of Combat and try to get this rematch to happen? Uh, it's going to be pretty quick, probably. I'm pretty, I'm pretty Michael, thank you very much. Thank you.